is the Emergency Medical Minute. So uh, what is Steakhouse Syndrome? Steakhouse Syndrome. Syndrome. It's a food bolus. There we go. So it's an impacted esophageal uh, food bolus, right? Uh, so people typically eat a piece of steak or a piece of pork or a big piece of chicken and it gets stuck in their esophagus. Uh, why does it happen? Don't chew it well or strictures, exactly. So the fact that uh, most people who get these have a, have a stricture in their esophagus, either a Slotsky's ring or an esophageal ring. Uh, sometimes they have scarring from old chemotherapy or, or, or old trauma. Uh, and then oftentimes they have what's called esophagitis, the most common being eosinophilic esophagitis that kind of gets food stuck there. Um, so I heard about a pretty cool new thing that I'm excited to try with the next one of these. Uh, so that's what the medical minute's going to be about. But typically, what do we give to try to get these patients to uh, pass pass their food bowls? Yep. So so there could be some type of effervescent product. We use Easy Gas here. Um, you, other people use soda. You know, to try to get people to drink soda and try to get it to like you know fizz. And then the gas to help dilate and push it down from their esophagus. What else? Glucagon, one milligram of glucagon. What's the big side effect of glucagon you should worry patients about? Or you should, uh, what? Plus, they feel like all of a sudden they feel like. Yeah, they feel flushed, they feel like crap, they'll oftentimes develop nausea, vomiting, and puking. Sometimes the puking gets their, their food bolus out. Uh, what's the other thing we can use to dilate the esophagus? Same thing that uh, sometimes paper patients come in with chest pain, we put this under their tongue. What is that? Nitro, yeah. So nitro is another effective, uh, basically smooth muscle relaxant. And there is actually a recent study. It was really a case series, not really a study, where people had failed glucagon, failed all this stuff. And what they did was they took nitro, that same 400 microgram tablet, and they dissolved it in basically 10 cc's of just normal tap water. And then they had pe patients drink it instead of putting it on their tongue. So the thought was that you'd get more localized esophageal um, relaxation and dilation. And and at least in their small case series, it had nearly 100% effectiveness. Now, granted, that's only three patients, and N of three really isn't good. But it's kind of cool that makes a lot of sense that you get that kind of dilating power rate right to where uh, you're having the problem. Uh, so I'm excited to try that. Next time you have an esophageal food impaction, run up to your doc and say that there's a study and see if you try it. And uh, let's see how that works. Uh, complication of nitroglycerin, you should all know this one. Hypoblension, and then what else for the patients more clinically? Headache. Viagra. Headache, yeah. And don't give it with Viagra. Viagra. Yeah, don't give it with Viagra. <laughs> okay, cool. So esophageal food infection. Thank you. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, Please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.